Hey House Fan friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ashley and you are watching youtube.com forward slash at planting Ashley. And because you're watching youtube.com forward slash at planting Ashley, I wanna make a YouTube video right now. Some of you will get that, some of you won't. Today I'm gonna tell you about my favorite plants. I know, I know, you're so excited. And I'm also gonna tell you that this video is sponsored by Zimp. Zimp is where I get all of my super cute glasses. Obviously you always see me wearing the Aphrodite pair. It is my favorite pair of glasses and y'all's favorite pair of glasses. Make sure you use code Ashley at checkout to get 50% off frames and 20% off lenses. And also I want you to check out the link in my description and in my link tree and pinned at the top of the comments so that you can see all of my favorite glasses because even though I am always wearing this pair, I have many other Zimf pairs and you can find all of them for a discounted price through my link. Okay, let's get into my favorite plants for October. I have a list here of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that worked out nicely, but it's actually 13 because I smuggled a few into here. I know. It's 13 because I want to show you all of my variegated Adansonii and not just like the one. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna start with the big plants and the biggest one by far is my Monstera Albo, which is actually sitting behind me. Let me get it out. This plant is gorgeous. This is my Monstera Albo and I got it actually pretty recently, about a month and a half ago. Check out the variegation on the back. I got this for an incredibly good price. I only paid $80 for this whole plant, except for the new leaf, which obviously is new. I got the plant as having as many as this leaf, or I guess this is the newest leaf that came in. And you might be like, Ashley, that plant is pretty green. Obviously you got it for a really good price. And I will tell you, I know, I know it's really green. That's literally why I picked it because I was like, that would be fun to try to like figure out. So this plant actually started as a reverted cutting, which you'll notice on these bottom two leaves right here. They are completely green. This guy, he took a cutting of his elbow and it was completely reverted. So he planted it. And then after a year, you guys, a year of growing, grew into what you're seeing right now. And I bought it having up to here. And then this is the newest leaf, which is actually so gorgeous. Oh my God. Hello. So, so, yeah, yeah. Down. filming and it gave us this new leaf which is so gorgeous and marbled and the variegation on the stem is also coming in hot like it is all over i'm just so excited because i always was hoping i would get to pay an absolutely ridiculously low price for a monstera elbow at some point in my life and i got to pay it this leaf i don't know it's just showing me that we got a long way to go and i think this thing is gonna get so gorgeous we will obviously stick together through that whole process the next plant i want to show you is my philodendron strawberry shake which is also sitting behind me we actually did just get the newest leaf on this one and then we also have back here my tiny one. There's two shakes in here. I surprised you. Oh, I guess that makes it 14 plants. But I've got this air layered with a lot of my other plants. I actually need to air layer, I think, two more of my plants. I just haven't been because I've been lazy. Check out that color. I'm actually not a huge fan when leaves come in ruby like these two. I'm much more excited about leaves like this or like just the full color. I think full color is cool. I know a lot of people don't, but I am happy that the leaf looks so gorgeous. When it first came in, I couldn't tell if it was gonna have color or not, or if it was gonna be another 100% leaf. Like it was just gonna be 100% pink, but it's still hardening off. I've been trying to also re-angle the plant because for a little bit, it was actually like all of the leaves were like kiltering over. So I've tried to fix it and this is the one that was kiltering the most and it's already doing better. And then this one's also putting out a new leaf. This one's given me three new leaves since I air layered it. And you can see that this side's not very variegated and this side is which is kind of fun. The variegation did come through a little bit on that newest green leaf, but this new leaf that's coming in looks a lot bigger, so I'm excited. I really like this plant, this is gorgeous. Okay, the next plant I wanna show you is going to be my spider plant, which I'm completely obsessed with. This thing is a total work of art. Just the way that the new leaves 
like the little baby plants hang down. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. I got this plant for $21, which was a really good price and I do wanna repot it. Ideally, I would repot it and hang it in my window, but I'm actually out of hanging pots for the moment. I love spider plants. I think they're gorgeous. I specifically love this spider plant because of the weird ways that it like hangs out. I don't know, it just kind of gives me like bonsai tree vibes. Chlorophyte and Bonnie's always been one of my favorite plants. This one specifically, I saw it and I was just completely obsessed. It's so pretty. Look at this little friend. Oh, it's so pretty. It looks like a flower. The next plant I'm gonna show you is my Hoya Caudata Sumatra. And this plant, I got so lucky when I found it. I actually paid only $20 for this entire thing because it was mislabeled as a Hoya Australis. To get a Hoya Caudata this large, and I am I think you guys can see all the new growth tendrils. There's a lot of them. To get a Hoya Caudata this large, you would be paying at least $50 to $60 at somewhere cheap. You're more likely looking for something that's like $75 or $80, especially for the splashing on it um, because some Sumatras have splashing and others really don't. And I love the jagged edges of the leaves as well. Camera's having a really hard time focusing on it though. I gotta like let it get bright and then show you really quick. Anyways, I love this plant. This thing was a super lucky find and I'm so glad I found it. My first experience with Hoya Caudata Sumatra was actually way back in the day in 2019 and I ordered one from online. It was like one of the first online plant purchases I ever did and it actually came dead and I tried really hard to save it, but it didn't last. I never got another one since then till now. So this has been one of my old plant dreams fulfilled and I wish I could really like show you guys all the new tendrils. I hope you're seeing them. They're all actively growing right now and putting out new babies. Oh. The next one I wanna show you is my philodendron micans. And this one does look a little rough. So you're gonna have to look past the rough edges and instead just at the pretty new leaves. Oh, the pretty new leaves. They are truly so beautiful. Um, this one was a tiny bit beat up when I did buy it. So there's a lot of like, <sighs> torn ones. I should probably prune it, but I don't want it to look less full. And if I pruned it, it would definitely look less full. This thing sits in my window. It faces this way, which is why you can see all the new leaves. And I've always loved micans. Micans I prefer over Milano Chrysum. I think I just always have. I think a big reason is because of the fact that they've always just been so affordable and they grow so fast. You can have a huge pot of them versus getting a Milano Chrysum. Like Milano Chrysum, they just won't grow like this. This just grows like a common plant, it grows fast. You don't need a crazy high humidity level for them. And they just, they do really, really well. I'm really happy with it. Oh, it's so pretty. I hope to get this one super, super big. Every time I see micans at the store, I'm like still always tempted to buy it. And while we're on the micans note, I'm actually also gonna show you my variegated micans as I have a couple. I'm growing these in still. I'm gonna tilt you down. This is my uh, variegated micans that I own. There are a couple in here. I'm really sad because the newest leaf, it's still hardening in, but despite the crazy variegation on its stem, that newest, lightest leaf right there is hardly variegated, save for a small spot at the top right of the leaf, which is just super major depression. I can't tell because there's a chance it could totally be a full moon type leaf, but down in this pot, we have multiple other actual variegated leaves that are doing really well. This is the newest one that was variegated that hardened and I'm really happy with this. I like that the variegation is coming in yellow. And there's four other leaves beyond the ones that I just showed you. They're just like way buried down in here. As you can see. Then there are two rooting variegated micans that are in this jar, which I can't exactly really show you right now, but you can see here's one of them growing in right here. 
this little guy. Those ones are growing in and they are from the same plant as this one. I'm thinking that because the mother was like an on and off variegation plant, that this one will also be like an on and off where the right side comes out variegated and then the left side doesn't really. But it's just weird because the, the vine is so colorful, like super colorful. So for the leaf to come out like that, I wonder almost if it's like a full moon, uh, if it's just gonna stay that lime green color forever, indicating that it's a full moon. Those are my variegated micans and you did spot the tiny little, I'm not talking about this plant, but the oblique peruse that I do also have in here. There's two of them uh, tucked in here. I've been growing this in here because it grows way fast. Like it's super, super, super fast uh, in this instead of out in the open. So I'm probably gonna give this a upgrade sometime soon. Next one I wanna show you just while we're down here is my Hoya Serpents. This plant is but definitely one of my favorite plants that I own. It's so cute. I got this as a trade. I'm just so completely obsessed. I love it. It's doing really good. It did have a bunch of growth points when I first got it. I kept it in my Ikea cabinet and the growth points actually died despite the Ikea cabinet being so humid. So all the growth points have had to come back and we do have one, two, four growth points that are happening right here on this which is great. This was three separate cuttings. I am just super happy. I love this plant. This was always one that I wanted and I actually had the Hoya Matilde instead of this for a really long time. <laughs> like the Matilde was like the affordable serpents. I'm super happy with this and I cannot wait for it to grow big and strong. I've been keeping it in this little jar and it's doing really good in there. The next plant I'm gonna tell you about has actually been sitting next to me this entire time. And that is my Philodendron Gloriosum. And I'll be honest with you guys, I never thought that I would have the Philodendron Gloriosum on my list of favorite plants in any world ever, um, simply because of the fact that it's just never been on my list. This has never been a plant that I have been, it just got really dark outside, hold on. It's never been a plant that I have been especially, especially fond of. Um, but this specific one is so nice. I got this locally from a gal for $20. It is a, a Gloriosum Zebrina, which is super nice. It's got um, more defined and pronounced veining than the other types of Gloriosum. Also, the inside of the variegation can come out pink, which is really nice. I really like it. I am excited for it to get bigger. I've always wanted to keep Gloriosum and other crawlers, but I always put it off because I was like, they sound difficult to take care of. So instead, one of my plant goals going forward has been that instead of shying away from plants that I don't really know how to take care of, I wanna learn how to actually take care of them. This is one of those plants that's on my list and I'm super excited. I do need to give it a repot soon. It is super root bound in this cup. As you can see, the roots are just like completely coiled around the bottom of the cup. It's a little wobbly. There's also like a couple baby plants that are growing in the bottom. This is the newest leaf and it is just truly, it's truly gorgeous. And you can see a little bit of the pink coming through. I've been trying to sun stress it because I feel like if I do sun stress it, that pink will come in more. It's so pretty. The next ones I wanna tell you about are my variegated Adansani eyes. Plural. I've got a couple of these and I'm obsessed with all of them. This is my largest one and this is one of my mint Adansanii. I'm pretty sure I have two of these. I have been growing this obviously out in my open space because I've been trying to do less closed growing and more of an open growing concept. And the jars, I keep plants in some of the jars because I, though I really want to grow open, um, some plants in the winter here, they just really need that extra humidity. I do live in a desert and it gets very dry. I have two large eight Calopa humidifiers. They're fucking huge. I use them. So I'm constantly at all times using essentially a 16 liter humidifier and it's been working. Having two of them has been working and it's been totally paying off on the plants. I'm like purifying my own water in order to do it. That's not an ad by the way. I'm just telling you what I've been using because I would not be able to keep plants and have them do so good like this if I didn't have this thing and then my other one constantly running. But I love variegated Adansani and I don't know why I love them so much because 
because when I first got into plants, I really didn't like them and I don't know if it was because of the hype and everybody wanted one, what it was exactly, but I was not a fan. And then something happened to me over the last year and I've just been completely obsessed with them. Specifically, like, I wanna have all the different types eventually, but what I've got the most is the mint version, uh, the archipelago, I think it's called. And I think that it actually used to be the more expensive one. The albos are actually, I think, the most expensive version. And I actually do have a albo. I'm just gonna get it out for you here real quick. So I've been growing this inside. I've been growing this inside of my jar and you can see a little bit of the yellowing, that's damage. Here's that new leaf spike that's coming in and it is doing super well. We've got a fuzzy root here see him coming down there's a couple of those i'm so excited because these ones are so weirdly expensive right now for the current market to where it, it just kind of like weirds me out because i don't know why this specific plant is what decided to be popular right now i shouldn't have taken that out to show you i'm having a really hard time uh, getting it to be back where it was also um while putting this back and trying to get it all set up again I did just see a mealybug on my Hoya Condada, which is depression. It's just one though. Oh, no, nope, there's another couple of you. I really like my fucking Hoya. It's so obnoxious. All right, here it is back in its little jar. Then my final one, which I keep in a jar as well, but this one's in a pot. And I do think that this is the another uh, mint archipelago. Uh, Adansonii, just because of the way that that like silver is sitting on the leaf right now. And it's also putting out a new leaf uh, right there in the middle. I just love Adansonii. I love little Adansonii. And if you're like, Ashley, why don't you put them all together? And it's like, because I like having multiple. I like having, I like having a bunch of them. I am going to go grab the final plant and put this one in quarantine. The final plant I have been enjoying so much this October has been my Begonia Maculata Whiteyei, which I managed to completely resurrect from the dead. Um, this thing I had, I've had for so many years. When it started to go downhill, the original version of this plant, which is not this one, I took a bunch of cuttings. I mean, a ton of cuttings, you guys. And I put them all in water for a couple months. And then recently I potted them all up to make this new plant. And I am so thrilled with how gorgeous and pink it's looking. It's putting out a million little baby leaves all at once and i'm just really excited about it oh my gosh it's so pretty i love it look at this little leaf oh it's little white spots and then these ones oh it's so pretty i love i love i'm completely obsessed we're going back a lot of whitey eye has always been one of my favorite plants it's just so freaking striking oh my gosh i don't know i can't i can't say enough about it it's so good i love it this has been a joy and I, i'm glad i saved it i'm glad because this is the one these are cuttings from the original one that i had all the way since 2019 i think 2020 or 2019 oh my gosh my baby i'm so excited to watch it get bigger all right well that is gonna be it for this video thank you so much for hanging out with me today and hearing me just blab about my current favorite house plants i am so happy to be sitting here and making videos feeling good the pregnancy has been really hard i know i haven't been making any more pregnancy updates so you guys um probably have no idea unless you follow me on other social medias yeah i have had a really hard time but lately things are going really well and i'm having a pretty decent almost third trimester so far so we are almost there just i think a week and a half away from starting third trimester and i've had all these beautiful pretty plants to honestly kind of like be my therapy through this really hard surgery. It's not fun having a surgery when you're pregnant. I really don't recommend it. Emotionally, it's really hard. I am so happy we came through it. The recovery was relatively easy and now we just have a fun third trimester to look forward to. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for your support on my plant tea series. Every single time I've posted one of those, it's completely blown up in comparison to what my views are right now. How before I quit YouTube, quit, I didn't 
really quit, but I just peered for a little bit. In the very beginning of 2022 and end of 2021 was when everything slowed down and I started treatment and I got diagnosed and stuff. I would post videos and I would get five to 8,000 views in 28, 24 hours, which was crazy. And then it would just go up from there. And after a week, it was normal for all of those videos to have around 18 to 22,000 views. So it's definitely different posting videos now and maybe only 1,500 people watch or um, I post a plant tea video and 5,000 people watch in a 24 hour period. I definitely see the love for plant tea and I'm promising to make more. The next plant tea video that's coming out is gonna be what makes a rare plant. I've been really taking my time on this video to make sure that it's everything I want it to be because I think that rare plants are very weird and their definitions are incredibly fluid. I'm interested to talk about what makes a plant rare. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Being with me through this journey, I've been posting videos to YouTube now for like four years consistent, consistently and um, I'm so excited. The new posting schedule for those of you who are still here who care is gonna be Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. I'm just really trying to put my self care first and then whatever else after that. Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. I know we were doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday before, but this this will actually allow me to get ahead for when we have we have Kai. I won't have to stop posting, videos will still go up, um, even though we're like, I'm not working and I'm just taking care of him, so. Little update for those of you who care enough to stick through to the end, and thank you so much to all the new subscribers who have showed up since the plant tea videos. Um, it's so nice to meet you, I'm Ashley, obviously. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next houseplant section, and thank you again so much to Zim for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check out all of my favorite glasses in the link in my description, in the comments, and in my link tree. Additionally, thank you to all of of my members who have been my complete rock and also join my discord. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I'm sorry, but how cute.